there is any heavy metals or pesticides in the water. And last, we have the education and training, for which we can go for the awareness camps, in uh, particularly in school campuses, to let the students know about it, like how to conserve it, what measures we can take to conserve our water bodies, and we can go for the NGOs, we can involve them in it, and they can also help it. And we can also train the community living in a particular area so that they must be aware of what is actually going on. Yeah, thank you. Over there. And using the potable, uh, using the potable, using the potable testing kits for that. Then we have the infrastructure development. For which we can uh, go for constructing the uh, check dams. Check dams and. Uh, infrastructure development. So we can which we can go for the check dams and the filtration systems. Now I would like to invite Mafia for the same. Yeah, thank you. First of all, good morning to everyone present over here as Harifa and she have already explained to you how the, how the measures in Himalaya are met. So let's now talk about education and training and what kind of initiatives have government of India and other, other countries do for stop the melting down of glaciers. So the first initiative was taken by Dara Vikas program under Rural Management and Development program. It aims, it aims to revive Dara springs in the west and east side of Skin through the use of hydrogeology, hydrology and GIS, GIS system. And another policy we have that is National Mission for Himalaya, which is a central granting aid scheme, therefore it provides much needed focus on environmental issues and one of the main issues is spring regeneration. At the community level, the government has launched many policies to educate people about spring water regeneration, how spring water is being used in their day-to-day -day lives, in domestication, agriculture, and etc. Now let us one policy advocacy. Here I would like to ask. Here I would like to explain another policy that is our aim, which set up an aim to save 60,000 springs. Out of 60,000, they have already saved up to 6,000 springs. So when we talk about policy. Policy advocacy, it's not just about the government should take some initiatives to save. Like we are also the citizens of India, like particularly when we talk about Kashmir. So the first water body that comes in our mind is River Delhi, am I right, sir? So we are seeing that there has been drastic improvement, not improvement, but there has been drastic pollution in some areas like Bijbihara, Pampura, Anantipura. That's we need to also play in that, and it's the right time when we need to do that. After policy advocacy, I would like to move on long-term sustainability. So for long-term sustainability, we need to focus on some major things like forestation. Because you won't create something to try to enjoy your project. Do you have to use uh, models or anything that you are getting from that you are right? So this is for the idea of the next level of the channel. Yeah, uh, the 